Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Stoneblock. We are down underneath every stone piece in history, underneath the world, surviving down here, doing stuff, doing things, looking at grass grow because we like it. Uh, check this out guys, I made uh, three more crucibles and they all have 1500 lava in them. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit more stone into each of them. And uh, today, guys, we're going to keep following the quest line. Um, and I want to show you what I did. I made this whole thing of trees here. Pretty cool. We go like this. We can mine up all of the wood. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Apples. All of the things we ever need in our life. Look at that. Now we have so much wood, we don't even know how much wood could a woodchuck chuck. <laughs> so there's that. Anyway, uh, let's see here. We'll go and worry about that later. Boom, back into the quests. So we did do this. We never grabbed our loot chest here. What did we get? Oh, an invar hammer. Okay, so not all that good anymore. Uh, but we're going to need obsidian. So we need... Um, we need 10 obsidian, and in order to do that, let's see, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so we're going to need a bit more lava, unfortunately. Now let's see about making a fluid. We're going to need, actually, no, hold up. We don't want to go to the nether just yet. We would like to make a cobblestone generator. That's what we're going to want to make. Generator. There it is. This one here. Okay. So we just need lava and water. That's easy. That's easy. We do get our buckets back, so no need to worry about that. That was not lava. That was string. Okay. So we just need water. We have an infinite water source because we grabbed that last episode. If you guys missed last episode, I, I challenge you. I challenge you to go check it out because it was it was freaking awesome. I ain't even gonna lie. Okay, so we're gonna grab some of this dirt here. Okay, and then we're gonna go smack. Perfect. All right, and we'll get that smelted up. We'll grab one of these. And now, oops. We should have enough to make one. Boom, yeah. Boom, yeah. Okay, so we're also going to make... Oh, we got the... We got the achievement. Let's go ahead. Let's grab our chesticle. And we need to make a storage one. And we can start by making a storage drawer just like that. Um, so let's go ahead and do that just before we start crack a lacking and some smacking. I don't know why I say that, but I do, and it's okay. So if we go like this, we make a chesticle. And then we make uh, basically two half slabs, just like so, with a chest in the middle. And we get a basic drawer. So we should get another one. Yep, we got it. Perfect. All right, it's taking its time for some reason. Now let's open both of these bad boys up. Let's see. Oop, more epic bacon. Perfect. And gelid cryothium. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness, guys. Can you, I cannot believe we just got that. If we go here and we look at the crucible, what is... Oh, gelid cryothium is not here. Wait, hold up. Awaken draconium block. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Do you guys remember last episode where we got this awakened draconium block? Yeah, we're gonna... Oh! What have I done? I don't know if I can get it back. Oh my gosh. Do you see how fast... It's already done. It's already freaking done! <gasps> Dudes, that was one of the best things ever. Now we can make lava at such a stupid rate. Look at this. Like, it's that, that's full of lava. We, can, we can't have any more. That is... Oh my gosh, I thought Jello Cryothium was it. No, but this, this, is, this is better. Okay. So we need, to add, we need to put this somewhere. We're going to put this right up here. And so what we can do is we'll go like so... And it should start putting it in. So we have five in there. Huh. Okay. Maybe it has to go below it. 
But what it does is it, it just cranks out a heck ton of cobblestone. And it, obviously this is the slow version. We can obviously go much faster. But can we upgrade it? Oh, we can upgrade it to the iron one. We're gonna do that. And we're actually gonna go to the gold one too. So here we go. Oh, that is not how you make it, huh? Hold, makes one cobblestone, can output to an inventory above. Okay. Oh, we did it. We got another quest. I didn't even know we were going. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Are you going to give us another draconian block? No, just black lotus. It's okay. I forgive you, game. I have to break it. I'm going to have to break it with our fisticuffs. Come on, you can do it. Got it. Okay. Boom, there we go. And look. So this will just slowly increase over time, which is what we what we want. So, oh. So this is tier, oh, okay. So that's a tier four, and this is a tier five, okay. So the next one is diamonds, diamonds. We have three, we need five more, so we'll have to wait a bit on that. And plus, when we get one more, we're going to switch one of these up to diamond. So, yeah, okay, so we've got a cobblestone generator. And actually, we're gonna go ahead and make a second one for over here. Let's go ahead and do that off camera. All right, so there's, we've, we've gone ahead and I've added it over there. We'll, we'll put a little thingamabobber over here. So we actually need to move this down one. I just realized. Um, yeah, we'll have to break it with our hand. Come on. There we go. Grab that bad boy. We're gonna put that there and this here. And now it will start putting into there and we'll, we'll, do, a, we'll do a fancy schmancy thing with that. All right, so look at that. We already got two stacks. And we, didn't, we haven't even like lifted a finger to do it. So we need to, oh, I needed that string. We need to make a flint mesh, just like so. There's our quest. Perfect, okay. So we did that iron mesh. Let's go ahead and grab one. There we go, did it. Come on. There we go. Let's have a look, let's see. So this one, oh, more black lotus. And those are torches, let's do you. Ooh, draconic, oh my, draconium infused obsidian. So it's really just good for this dislocator receptacle. And what are you used for? You are used... I have no idea. I have no idea what you're used for. <laughs> All right, we'll put you away. I think I think there's like a teleportation thing you can do with that. Oh, I need that iron one back. I need, I need you, bud. I need you to go right there. Okay. So perfection. What's next? Let's see here. Look, so I think a mob farm is going to be our best approach. Um, where do we want to put it? I think we're going to go this way. Yeah, we're going to go this way and do it. Okay, so let me grab a few torches. And we're going to need some trap doors. We're going to use a very old method. Mob farm, because like there's nowhere mobs can spawn other than here right now, um, in this world because of how it's built. It, there's basically stone everywhere, like a billion blocks that way, a billion blocks that way, that way to bedrock and then to bedrock. So there's almost no coming, no mobs spawn in action at all. So I'm gonna go like about 30 or like 25 to 30 blocks this way, and then I'll cut back. All right, so as you can see, guys, it's a very old school type of uh, mob farm here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock out these torches so we can get things spawning in here. Uh, but unfortunately, it won't work for Endermen, uh, which is uh, kind of a bummer. I do have a few Ender Pearls already, um, just because two of them, I guess, spawned in a dark spot off camera. And uh, I just built like a little thing to stand in and uh, let them come at me and 
Yep. So hopefully, if they teleport, they do teleport down um, in the thing. If that makes any sense to anyone. I bet you... Oh. Yep, that worked. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to go ahead... Um, oops. We need to block that off. And let's see here. So we need to go like so. Come on. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Like that. And actually, we'll go ahead and like do some stuff under there. Give me a second. Let me gather my thoughts. All right, so I just wanted to bring you guys along because I'm going to go ahead and put uh, hoppers underneath all of those half slabs I just created. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and put a, a iron chest in here like that. As you can see, it was just a chest surrounded by iron. And then we're going to do that with gold, and they hold a heck ton more than uh, vanilla chests. And as you can see over here from the top right over here, if you look at our map, uh, we have some red marks here, which is perfect. So we can go ahead... And that is exactly what we wanted. Okay. Sweet. So we're going to try to do this the easiest way possible. I'm so glad that worked out. Okay. So it might not have been the most efficient way to do this, uh, but it'll, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. So we're going to go ahead and just place a hopper like so. Place this in front of it, grab the hopper back, and we're going to need a route to get out of here. So now that that's complete, geez louise, place it like so. There we go, and we're good. Ah. All right, we don't want any open spaces where something might be able to spawn in. Uh, and spiders might be an issue. So let's see here. Oh, cool. So we do have a loot bag. Let's go ahead and check it out. Ooh, a heart container. I don't know what that does. Oh, I ate it. So now all of those are going in here, perfect. And we can go ahead and like put, like replace these with spikes eventually and they will all die. Oh, what are you? Bam, look at that. And we got a zombie head, very cool. We're gonna put that here. But all right, guys, I hope you did enjoy the episode. If you did, please do make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. But there goes that spirit, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out. Bye-bye.